Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn about the Web API versus the REST API. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So what is a Web API? Web API is like a waiter in a restaurant. It helps apps talk to each other over the internet. Example, let's say you open the Zomato app, want to see nearby restaurants. Zomato talks to its web API to get the restaurant data from its server and the web API sends back the data like this. The web API, any system over the internet that apps use to exchange the data, it could be built using the REST, so GraphQL or any other style. Then what is REST API? The REST API is a type of web API that follows some simple rules like use URLs to identify the things, use standard HTTP methods that should be get, post, put, and the delete. Be stateless. Each request is independent. Imagine a pizza app with the REST API. So get all the pizza slash pizzas, get one pizza slash by ID, by new pizza, update and delete. So these are the operations, HTTP method, and this URLs. Okay, so this is how the REST API behaves. This is REST API because it uses clear URLs, it uses standard HTTP verbs, it's stateless. Each call has everything the server needs. Difference, okay? So let's take a look of that difference, right? So the feature, meaning, what do you mean by the web API? Any API over the web. REST API, it's a web API that follows the REST rules. Protocol, can be REST, SOAP, GraphQL, etc. Only REST uses HTTP URLs and the methods. Okay. And this could be the HTTP or HTTPS or the TCP or the IP. Simplicity depends on the type. Simple, clean, easy to use. Data format, XML, JSON, etc. And mostly this TPI would be the JSON, the lightweight and the fast. Best for the legacy of the complex systems, banks, modern apps, React, Angular, mobile apps, and the etc. Okay. So the next one is why use REST APIs. Easy to build and scale, perfect for the web mobile apps, human readable, readable preferably, fast and uses less bandwidth, okay? When web API is not REST, here's non-REST web API example like SOAP API. You send an XML request, it responds with XML, not URL based or the HTTP based method, okay? So this one, SOAP one. These are heavier and more complex used in the bank older systems. Term Web API, think of it like a general term of any API that works over the web. So it's all called as the Web API. A specific term for the Web API that uses HTTP and the URLs. So that is called REST API. All REST APIs are Web APIs. But not all Web APIs are the REST APIs. Okay. So when should you use the REST API? If you're building the modern app, web, mobile, front and back and use REST API. And if you're working with the old systems like government or the banks, might the SOAP web APIs they are using, right? So, so the one of the common difference for the REST API that is has a multiple endpoints, right? But uh, if you go with the GraphQL or something, if, if we're talking about the GraphQL, it has a one endpoint, which we're going to discuss later on the videos, okay? So I hope you will get the clear clarification what web api and the rest api hope you like the video thank you so much for watching this video have a great day